like this. Not like this. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm supposed to. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG, and GM Praise Gotta Get Money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Check this out, man. So today, we have some big news coming from the, uh, sorry about that. We have some big news coming from the, uh, Canelo and Bud situation. You know what I'm talking about? We have, uh, Big Turk Alashik. He's, he, he's, has essentially confirmed that the fight will not be happening, man. You know, he's, he's basically called it off. He said he is no longer pursuing Bud versus Canelo, man. You know what I'm saying? And he said that he has, uh, he has consulted with his team. And, uh, you know, they came to the conclusion that they no longer want to pursue that fight. So, you know, what I thought immediately <laughs> is that his team must have watched the same fight that I watched. You know what I'm talking about? That's a fact, ain't it? Ain't it? All right, then. <laughs> Talking about he consulted with his team. Yeah, he could have consulted with anybody that 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 that, uh, that watched the fight between Bud and Israel Madrimov. Now, when I say that, I say that with the utmost respect because Israel Madrimov is a champion, bro. He's a formidable opponent. Yes, he only had eleven fights, you know, ten fights and one draw, but he was a great champion, and he's widely considered the best champion at 154. Is he though? Between him, Sebastian Fedor, who has two belts, and and Bakram Mirzataliev, who has the other belt, you know, the IBF joint, and um. You know, Israel Madrov was very formidable. He was he was a solid 154, big guy. And Bud, you know, while he didn't breeze through him, it, it, it was it was a fight, and he won. You know, he won he won um, convincingly, in my opinion. It was a close fight, but you could have a clear winner in a close fight. You know, and I thought Bud accomplished that. Did he, did he struggle? Yes, uh, but that's what, don't you want to see your champion, an all time great pound for pound talent like Bud, go through adversity and still come out on top? So when people are saying that, oh, Bud lost, or Bud, or, 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 not, not, sorry, they, 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 nobody says Bud lost. They just say, oh, Bud, Bud did it win, or oh, it was, it could have been a draw. But if you can't say that Bud lost, then that means that, that he won, man. I know that you got to take the belt for the champion, but whatever, whatever fight that Bud goes into besides Canelo, he's the champion. You know what I'm saying? By, by that, I'm saying he's the A-side. He's the one that's bringing the legacy. He's the one that's bringing the name. He's the one that's bringing the accolades and the resume. You know, so while Israel Madrimov is a champion, Bud is considered the people's champion. And you can ask Floyd, you can ask Canelo. That has more weight, you know, um, um, than, than the belts when you reach a certain stature. You You know, I'm not saying that for everybody, just for Bud in particular. And while he did uh, struggle, you know, the struggle seemed like it was associated with him not being acclimated to the to the new weight. You know, he he did make a debut at 154. It was the first time he fought at uh, uh, a junior middleweight, and he fought a champion at Israel Madrimov, a very formidable, very capable, uh, 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 and, and, and sensational talent, if you ask me. I think Israel Madrimov is going to bounce back, and he's going to be very great from this experience, you know, and, and come back even better. So when I say that, that people that that turn Turkey and his advisors and his committee and his and his uh, um, uh, the people that he consulted uh, with his team when they when I say that they saw the same fight that we saw I'm saying that because they saw that Bud had another obstacle and another hurdle to conquer and that was directly associated with the rise or increase of, of weight, you know, and so it's only going to get worse, you know, because because Canelo is not going to be at 154. Canelo is not going to be at 160. He's going to be at 168. Damn. I'm sorry. Man, two weight classes higher and Canelo has successfully, people forget this, he has successfully fought at 175 when he beat Kovalev. Now, his last, most recent uh, bid at 175 was against Dimitri Bivol, and that was unsuccessful, but that's not a knock. Dimitri Bivol is undefeated, and he's trying to fight uh, him and him and better be ever going to fight for undisputed uh, light heavyweight to establish who's a dominant fighter at, at light heavyweight, 175, where Canelo has been there before, and he wasn't knocked out or stopped. So, I think that they realized what, what I've been saying, uh, that Canelo most likely would beat Bud, and I'm not saying that because... Canelo, I don't give I don't give Bud a chance. Yes, I give Bud a chance. The mere fact that I think that that fight is intriguing is because of how good Bud is. It's a it's a testament to his greatness and and and, and his and his um, claim at being an all time great and a legend in the sport. You know that's why I think that a one hundred forty seven pounder making his debut at one fifty four is even 
it's even feasible for him to go and challenge a, 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 a 168 pounder. You know what I'm saying? So it's a testament to his greatness. It's not a disrespectful knock. The reason why I'm still intrigued of that fight, and I would like to see it because I do see a path of victory, a possible path of victory. But in my opinion, I think Canelo would win that fight because Canelo is no slouch either. He's also undisputed at 168 or was since he was recently stripped by the IBF, you know, but he was undisputed at 168. He did have fights against Hall of Famers like like, like Sugar Shea Mosley, uh, Floyd Mayweather, Miguel Cotto, all time, all, all time greats and legends. You know what I'm saying? I could go on and go on. You know, he had a triple, a trilogy with Triple G. I'm not going to name all of his accomplishments and stuff in the sport, but just know that he's a beast in, uh, as well. You know, it's not like we're saying he's going to go up and fight uh, Terrence Bellcroft because he's just going to go up and fight some regular champion at 168. No, he's going to fight the man, the face of boxing, Canelo Alvarez, Saul Canelo Alvarez. So get that right, man. So I think that this is, this is, um, this just makes sense, you know. I know uh, Bud was chasing greatness and chasing that bag, um, the bag that's associated with the greatness of fighting old cinnamon. But I do think that the Turkey Al Sheik made 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 a right choice here to disregard the Canelo fight. But I don't think it was for anything other than uh, Terence Crawford's performance against against Israel Majumov. Like I said once again, I will reemphasize and reiterate what I'm saying. That's not a knock. This was his first fight at 154, was making his debut, and he was going against a champion. So this was a great win. He faced adversity, and he conquered it. Like we think an all-time great, phenomenal talent that Terrence Bud Crawford is should do. But, you know, size does make a difference. We have weight classes for a reason, and I don't. I just think that, you know, 168 would have been too much against Canelo, you know, for, for, for Bud to uh, overcome, in my personal opinion. Um, so, yeah, so I, I uh, let, let's go ahead and read the exact statement. I'm going to read the statement in its entirety because he said more than that. So he said, uh, Turkey Ellis. I'm reading and I quote uh, from his official account. He said, just wrapped up an important meeting now with my team planning for the upcoming fights that we will make for 2024, 2025. I decided to disregard the Canelo fight as I don't want it anymore. Instead, I will be focusing for the U.S. market with bigger fights, especially for the legend Crawford. Additionally, I will support making fights for Boots, Haney, Shakur, Ortiz as a Virgil Ortiz Jr., Anderson as in Jared Big Baby Anderson, Benavidez as in David Benavidez, and Zapata and more. Regarding Tim Zhu, though, there's something unclear with the communications from his team with our team. So I believe I will reconsider this situation. Once again, it seems like Team Zhu is messing up the bag. Shout out to Tim Zhu, but his team, he, he might need to reconsider some things with his team, too. You know what I'm saying? Don't mess that up. So I believe I'll re reconsider his situation. And for the rest of the world, definitely I'm focusing on Riyadh season card. Wembley edition 21st of September with AJ versus Dubois, which is a very good fight. And depending on the results and the results of Riyadh season's opening card, Bivol versus Benabiev on the 12th of October, I will build the card for the rematch of Fury versus Usyk on the 21st of December. And another big card on the first quarter of 2025. Stay tuned. I will definitely stay tuned. You know, Big Turk is out. And I think that, um, you know, I'm going to stay tuned to see what his endeavors and his and his and his um his uh, subsequent uh, ventures are when it comes to sport of boxing. I do it. I think he's doing a good thing. Is everything? Is anybody infallible? No. So can you critique some of his actions? Yeah. But I think overall, man, from my point of view, man, Big Turk's inclusion in boxing has been nothing short of phenomenal and great, man. Shout out to Bud. His performance is great. I look forward to him going for undisputed at a third weight division. You know, what I'm saying he is. He's been a champion at four weight divisions now at 154. Let's see if he can get undisputed at the third weight division at 154. And let's see, man. What do you, what would you like to see Bud do next? Uh, since, since the Bud and Canelo uh, fight is, is, is seemingly off the table for the foreseeable future, do you think that this is a good idea? Why do you think it was off the off the table? It could possibly be for money. Maybe maybe that uh, 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 Turkey's pockets don't run as deep as we think, and or maybe he's just not willing to uh, uh, to comply to be compliant with uh, Canelo's monetary demands. I don't know, you know. But Canelo said he never received the offer. I don't think it's a money related issue or financial issue or lack of finances. I think it's because they saw what we saw, and that Terence Crawford maybe. A little bit more ambitious than 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 for his own good, and you know what I'm saying. And shout out to anybody chasing greatness, but I do think you have a team around you, and you know, uh, Terrence Crawford is part of uh, of of, of, um, of uh, Big Turkey Al Sheik's team. He, he made him the ambassador of all his international endeavors for his Riyadh season cards, uh, uh, and I think he's just like, hey man, you know, I don't think that's that's the right right decision. Let me know what y'all think. Why why do you think it was canceled? Are you happy that it's canceled? Uh, do you wish that they would fight? Do you still want them to fight? Like I said, who do you think would win in the fight if it did happen? And um, yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about the overall thing. Man, I think it's a good thing. Um, as much as I would like to see that fight, I think it just makes more sense for Terrence Crawford to fight other people and for Canelo to fight other people, particularly Benavidez. You know what I'm saying? That might be long and gone in the win, though. But yeah, I still want to see that fight, man. But I appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Y'all y'all rock with your boy, and I appreciate that. Y'all be easy. Don't forget to like the video. But most importantly, remember with God, we can do anything without God. We're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace.
From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.